Hello, welcome back again to another video of your class, your class 11 mathematics. In today's video, we're going to learn about your chapter 7, your exercise 7.3, and which is all about nothing more than permutation. So, let's start with permutation. So, first of all, let me give the topic permutation and let me just explain what you mean by it. Permutation is known as the different the different arrangement the different arrangement which can be made made out of a out of a given number of things by taking sum or all at a time are called permutation so if i have to give an example uh, suppose i say uh, there's a three letters a b c and i say that make a two letter word so what you're going to do is that for two letter word you're going to simply arrange it into your a b b c a c c a c b and then your b a and similarly if i say that make a three letter word then you'll go with your a b c uh, then your a c b then your b c a c a b c b a and lastly your b a c so this is nothing more than your permutation but how would you know for just for three letter of words it was very easy for me to find your in two letter words or in three letter words but if the letter has to be more then how will you find by using permutation so let us go ahead with it by illustrating some formula so the first one it's nothing more than your uh, notation okay so how to derive or notate your permutation is you can just make it nothing more than your n c r and remember your R should always be uh, I would just say instead of n I would just give this one to be zero yeah your R should always be less than equal to zero or less than equal to n so your permutation it will be let me just say that let uh, zero less than equal to R less than equal to n then the number then the number of all permutation the number of all permutation of n dissimilar things dissimilar things taken r at a time so great taken r at a time is given by is given by nothing more than your n p r is equal to that will be n factorial divided by n minus r factorial and this is how we're gonna denote your permutation now let me go back to your same example once again so if i go back to example suppose i say two letter words the answer came out to be nothing more than six but how to get it simpler by using the formula would be nothing more than your n p r here i have to form a two letter word out of three so the value for n would be your three and it will be p and r will be two why two because i have to find a two letter word so it will be nothing more than two so which will be three factorial divided by three minus two factorial so the answer is three factorial divided by one factorial which is nothing more than six okay and in a similar manner for three it will be your three p three and your three p three will be nothing more than your three factorial which is nothing more than six and you might be wondering how did i got three factorial now actually let me come back to your next page so do know that as a note do remember your n p n is nothing more than your n factorial and similarly your n p zero is nothing more than your one don't forget these two steps so this one happens to be in nothing more than your n p n which happens to be nothing more than your n factorial and i got to be three factorial three factorial is nothing more than six if you can count one two three four five six the answer is also happen to be six so that is how we're gonna use the formula for your permutation
And remember, permutation is noted or denoted by nothing more than your n c r. Okay, and your n should always be greater than or equal to r, and your r should always be less than or equal to zero or less than or equal to your n. So don't forget these two steps. Then, okay, let me right away go ahead with your question. So let me just start with your exercise seven point three. Your exercise seven point three. Uh, your question number one. Uh, question number one is given that how many three digit number remember I have to form your three digit number three digit number uh, can be formed by using the digit one to nine so one to nine uh, if no digit is repeated okay um for so one to nine it means they are nothing more than your nine numbers as a whole so how what can i say is that uh, as we have to the answer as we have as we have to from a three digit number a three digit number by taking by using nothing by using the digits by using the digits from one to nine that is nine so the total number of ways total number of digit that can be from that can be formed uh, if no digit is repeated if no digit is repeated so it will be nothing more than your uh, 9p3 why 9p3 because let me go back again to the formula if you can see your n is always greater than your r so over here the value for n is nothing more than 9 and the value for r is nothing more than your 3 so i got here 9p3 so if i have to solve this one i'll get here 9 factorial divided by 9 minus 3 factorial and you have been wondering what am i doing over here i'm simply applying the formula for your permutation that's nothing more than npr is equal to your n factorial divided by n minus r factorial so the next step would be uh, 9 factorial divided by 6 factorial so factorize 9 until you get 6 so 9 into 8 into 7 into 6 factorial divided by 6 factorial so the answer would be nothing more than i can cancel 6 factorial and 6 factorial so it will be 504 ways so that's your answer the writings doesn't matter the only thing matter is how you get the answer and you should know the steps of solving it okay so question number one it was quite fun of solving it because it's very easy so let me go ahead with your next question there's nothing more than your question number two now again let us try to read the question is given that how many four digit numbers are there with no digit repeated now if you can look the similarity and difference between question number one and question number two is that in question number one it was given three digit number and i have to find from one till nine in question number four there is no digit given only is given i have to find your four digit number so if there is a four digit number that means there will be one two three four four empty space and for the four empty space uh, let me go with your how oh, that's your ones that's your tens that's your hundred and that's your ten thousand oh sorry your thousand that's your thousand so if i happen to go with this uh what is the highest uh number i can go over here the highest number there and go four digit number is nothing more than go is nine 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 and what is the lowest the lowest i can go here is one zero 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 now if you can see for a thousand place i can go here is nothing more than one till nine ways but for the remaining one i can go is nothing more than if you can see for this hundred tens and ones i can go here is nothing more than zero till nine ways so in short one to nine ways it means i can go in nine and zero to nine ways it means i can go in ten ways so what can i do over here is that uh, as per question is given that no digit is repeated so let me just say uh, as we have to from we have to from a four digit number so the thousand place so the thousand placed must be filled up must be filled up by the number from one to nine that is in that is in nine ways 
Uh, and as per question is given that, I can just say that as per question is given that the digits cannot be repeated, the digits cannot be repeated. So if the digits cannot be repeated, let me go again with the example over here. If you can just check over here, if the digits cannot be repeated, suppose I took over here nine, that means nine is gone from nine is gone from your hundred thousand and one. So if nine is gone, so I have to reduce one. So there will be nothing more than your nine ways. And how many digits remains? Three. So let me just write on that. As per question, the digits cannot be repeated. Then, then the remaining, then the remaining three digit must be must be filled up by the remaining by the remaining number in nothing more than your 9p3 ways why 9p3 because as i said i have to reduce one from here so if i reduce one from here i'll get nine ways and how many digits remains one two three so the answer will be nothing more than here by using permutation 9p3 and we just solve your 9p3. It's I we got the answer to be 504. I'll just write on here 504. So I can just see in the next line. Uh, hence, hence by fundamental principle of counting, the total number of four digit, the number of four digit that can be from that can be from if no digit is repeated if no digit is repeated so it will be nothing more than for thousand place i got the answer to be nine and for the remaining i got the answer in five zero four so which is nothing more than your four five three six ways so that's your answer for your question number two all right so that's all about your question number two so let me again go ahead with your question number next so let me just see your uh, question number six for question number six it's given that find n so question is given to be find n if n minus one p3 is to n p4 is given to be one is to nine so i have to find the value for n so once i solve this one uh, let me just go ahead so i'll do the solution so I'll just say that is given to be your n minus 1 p3 divided by n p4 is equal to 1 is 2 or 1 is 2 sorry there is 2 it means it's not even a ratio so 1 by 9 so if I solve this one I'll get the answer to be n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 1 minus 3 factorial and divided by I got n factorial and I got here n minus 4 factorial is equal to your 1 by 9 let me just try to solve it over here itself minus 1 minus 3 is minus 4 so i'll get nothing more than your n minus 1 factorial divided by n minus 4 factorial and same thing n factorial divided by n minus 4 factorial is equal to 1 by 9 so what can i do i can cancel this with that because they are same so i got the answer n minus 1 factorial divided by n factorial is equal to 1 by 9 now let me again go to your next page and write on the same thing first so i got here n minus 1 factorial divided by n factorial is equal to 1 by 9. now if you can just see between the numerator and the denominator the denominator is greater so factorize n until you get n minus 1 so that your next step would be n minus 1 factorial and get here n n minus 1 factorial is equal to 1 by 9 so what can i do i can cancel this with that so if I, I'll get the answer 1 by 9 is equal to, or sorry, 1 by n is equal to 1 by 9. So if I cross multiply, I'll get the answer n is equal to 9. So that's all about your question number 6. So in a similar manner, let us try to solve your question number 7. Your question number 7 is given that find uh, r if number 1, your 5, yeah, 5, pr is equal to 2 and then i got 6 pr minus 1 so solution so i got here 5 pr so i get 5 factorial divided by 5 minus r factorial is equal to 2 into 6 factorial divided by 6 minus r minus 1 factorial 
So I'll get here 5 factorial divided by 5 minus r factorial is equal to, remember, you cannot multiply like this, okay? 2 into 6 factorial is 12 factorial. That's completely wrong. So you cannot factorize like that. Always remember. So I'll get here 2 and then 6 factorial. So if I factorize this, I'll get here 7 minus 1. Now 7 minus r, sorry, because minus into minus is plus. So 6 plus 1 is 7. So I got 7 minus r factorial. Now, again, if you can just compare, I got this and this similar. Why? Because they doesn't have r. And similarly, this and this is similar. Why? Because they got r. Now, between your 5 factorial and then your 6 factorial, your 5 factorial is smaller. So I'll just keep like this. And similarly, between your 5 minus r and your 7 minus r, your 5 minus r is smaller. So keep like that. So factorize a bigger one until you get a smaller. So I got 6 into 5 factorial divided by 7 minus r. It will be 7 minus r. 6 minus r and then 5 minus r factorial. So what can you do? I can cancel 5 with 5, this with that. So the next step, let me just do it over here. I'll just cross multiply. So I'll get here 7 minus r and then 6 minus r is equal to 12. So let me just multiply. So if I multiply, I'll get the answer 42 minus 7r minus 6r plus r square is equal to 12. So in short, I got r square minus 13r plus 42 minus 12 is equal to 0. So which is r square minus 13r plus 30 is equal to 0. Now, let me go to your next page and split the middle term. So I got here r square minus 13r plus 30 is equal to 0. So if I split the middle term, I'll get the answer r square and then minus 10 plus 3r plus 30 is equal to 0. So that is r square minus 10r minus 3r plus 30 is equal to 0. So r, I got here r minus 10 minus 3, r minus 10 is equal to 0. So I get here r minus 3 and then r minus 10 is equal to 0. So it will be, let me just write them over here itself. So that will be either r minus 3 is equal to 0 r is equal to 3 or r minus 10 is equal to 0 so r is equal to 10 now let me go back to the question in both the question if you can just see the value for n the value for n i got to be 5 and then got to be 6 and remember and remember r is always less than or equal to your n so over here this one will be rejected why rejected because your r happens to be greater than n so the value for R, so I can say therefore your R is nothing more than 3. So that's all about your question number 7, 1. Now in a similar manner, you can try your 7, 2. Now, okay, let me go to your question number 8. Next question. Question number 8. Just read the question again. The question number 8 is given that how many words with or without meaning can be from using all the letters of the word equation. Using each letter exactly once. Remember, using each letter exactly once. So, mm, total number of total number of letters in the word in the word equation. Total number of letters in the word equation. If we can count, it's nothing more than eight. Now, let me just go ahead with the rough illustration of this example so i got here e one two three four five six seven eight so i have to form a letter by using taking the help of this one so in short there will be nothing more than your eight empty space again and i got the total number of letters to be eight so the answer would be in nothing more than your eight p eight ways why your eight p eight because from this letter itself only i have to fill up the empty space so what can I say with the next line is that uh, as no letters, no letters are to be repeated, repeated as letters are to be repeated. So by using, so by using the letters, so by using the letters exactly once, exactly once. Total number of total number of words that can be formed that 
can be formed from the from the word equation from the word equation is nothing more than your 8p8 so your 8p8 it's same thing as the formula that i've written down your npn which is nothing more than your n factor so your 8p8 would be your 8 factorial and the answer for your 8 factorial is nothing more than 40320 and that's your answer for your question number 8 all right now again uh same thing before i start with your next question let me just give you one theorem so that i can we can do the next question very nicely so it's given that you can see your theorem number four theorem number four in page number 150 is given to be the number of the number of permutation the number of permutation of n objects of n objects where your p1 objects are of one kind comma p2 are of second and then goes on with your pk are of k8 kind and the rest and the rest if any are of different kind is nothing more than n factorial divided by p1 factorial p2 factorial and goes on with your pk factorial now for this if i have to illustrate this one i'll just be simply be doing your uh question number 10 okay your question number 10 and then i'll tell you how to do how to use this term number four for question number 10 also you have to read the question very nicely first it's given that in how many in how many of the distinct permutation of the letters in mississippi do the four eyes do not come together now before i go with this one do not come together suppose i say that uh total number of student is mm, 100 and i say the present one is 60 so the if i happen to ask you how much is absent this one you'll just say that is 40 and how do you do you subtract the total with the present yes or no the same thing i'm gonna apply the same kind of method over here in your question number 10. so let me just start with the total first so if i just say i'll just give that mm, total number of total number of letters letters in the word the word mississippi m i double s i double s i double p i is equal to now if we can count is nothing more than 11 factor uh, so not factor is it will be 11. now over here if i have to use the term for is given that the number of permutation of n objects where p1 or objects are of one kind p2 are of second kind and pk are of a gate kind the formula is this one the same thing over here so out of i can just say that out of which out of which of the word Mississippi out of which there are uh, I can simply say that there are mm, yeah four four eyes comma four s two p's and the rest distinct and the rest distinct letters by, by the word distinct it means one each okay distinct letter so that therefore number of total number of total number of distinct permutation total number of distinct permutation is equal to it will be 11 factorial divided by 4 factorial 4 factorial and then 2 factorial distinct you don't have to write so same thing like that see n factorial divided by p1 p2 and pk so your p1 over here is 4 your p2 over here is 4 and similarly p3 is 2 so if i factorize this it will be 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 stop it there and then 4 factorial so similarly 4 3 2 1 and then 2 in 2 1 what we can cancel 4 factorial is 4 factorial so same thing 3 2 is a 6 4 2 is a 
8. So if I multiply, I'll get the answer 3, 4, 6, 5, 0. So as I said, we did for the total. Now, the expert question is given that the four eyes do not come together. So I have to find the four eyes do not come together. So in short, first of all, we have to find that we have to assume that the four eyes should come together. So let me go with the next one. Uh, let me just say that. Let us assume. Let us assume the four eyes, the four eyes in the given word, in the given word, come together, come together as one. So that is, there are one eyes. There is only one eye. One eyes. Okay, so there is only one eyes. So if I uh, make, if I combine the four eyes and make it into one eye, so in short, out of 11, out of 11, your three will be gone. So I can simply say that, therefore, total number of, total number of letters equal to eight. So out of which, out of which there are, there are, now remember that your four eyes combine together and make into one. So there will be four S and two P's, out of which there are four S and two P's and the remaining and the remaining are distinct letters. Okay, so therefore total number of total number of ways where four eyes are together where four eyes are together so that will be nothing more than your 8 factorial divided by 4 factorial and then 2 factorial so factorize 8 until you get 4 8 7 6 5 4 divided by 4 factorial and then 2 into 1 so I can cancel this with this so 2 4 so the answer would be nothing more than 840 ways so at the end I can say that hence Hence, total number of total number of distinct permutation distinct permutation permutation of the letter of the letters in Mississippi M I double S I double S I double P I if four eyes do not come together do not come together so that will be nothing more than total number of distinct permutation minus total number of four eyes do not come together so i'll get here uh, three four six five zero minus 840 and the answer happens to be three three eight one zero so that's your answer so this is what about your question number 10